Your network is your net worth. That's something that I've seen you've been very intentional over the last three years about who you hang out with, mm. who you seek advice from. Can you break down a bit about what that looks like for you? Well, I have chosen to surround myself by like-minded people and even in, in who we choose to work with. Mm. And yeah, it's massive. The, the language is the same. Mm. And you're learning constantly every day. So that's been massive. Yeah. Maybe to go deeper on that. Because mm. there's examples in my head that you've shared with me in the past. Mm -hmm. Well, two things. One is like that network. Mm -hmm. And you could take that as like, what position are you putting yourself in at that moment on that day? And who's standing around me that I can go and talk to to start building connection with? But then there's the, who are the people that you are consistently hanging around and building relationships with? as well um so i kind of look at it in those two two yeah. ways but like take for example the the builder workshop that you came to in brisbane two years ago mm -hmm. what happened you you chose to come there you were already working with us mm -hmm. so it wasn't like we were trying to sell you more or anything like that i mean that's not the purpose of the workshops either but you still chose to show up talk to me about what happened from then on yeah um well, Tim's been, uh, he's a, another builder yep. who, that I met, and Tori, his wife, uh, she actually approached me on the day and said, oh, you're from the Gold Coast, yep. we should have dinner, because she knew she could get value. And That's crazy to hear that she said that, because in my mind, you guys have been friends forever. Yeah. So to hear Tori say, like, oh, you're on the Gold Coast, let's catch up. It's yeah. Like, Man, I like, it's so odd f for them to engage with you like that, because you guys are like best friends now. Yeah, no. yeah. Sorry, I'm so two years, Go back. Two years later, yeah, um, we're giving each other um, jobs, um, using a lot of the same trades, yeah, um, and working, you know, uh, closely together, yeah, um, and not competitors, mm -hmm. but actually learning from each other because mm. doing a lot of the same things. That's been amazing. Was that a hard thing to to get into your head? Because some guys would naturally be like, "Oh, you're from the Gold Coast. I work in the Gold Coast." Mm. We're both in construction, instantly competitor. I won't talk to you. Not at all. Not at all. No. 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 Okay. If anything, it was. Oh, we. I think we may may must have both felt this can be beneficial for both of us. Yeah. And it has been massively. Okay. Like we ring each other every Monday morning and go run. Like, <laughs> just boosting each other. Yeah. So that's been amazing. Yeah. And like we sp spoke about, you know, network is your net worth. Yeah. Having people like that in your in your circle mm. is huge. Mm. You have a problem. You go, oh, I'll ring Tim. Yeah. What um, what do you do here? Yeah. How do you do this? Mm. And and vice versa. So you got someone to bounce things off from. Mm. Yeah. And I know there was a period there where you guys were both consuming from the same mentor as well. Yeah. And so, you would be receiving information from him. Tim would go and, and hang out with him and mm. receive information, and then you guys would then put it all together. Put it all share together. Share notes. Yeah. 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 To get the most out of it. Yeah. Yeah. What would you say have been other effects from? That have come from that just in general from from meeting people like you know people sharing books for instance yeah. or or other things um you know like 5 a.m club or whatever yeah. they may be you know yeah. mindset from other people yeah where you can learn little traits and habits mm. um discipline um those kind of things yeah so what someone's always got something good to say yeah that's so, true but you have to be willing to listen and be open to that mm. you have to be hungry you have to want to learn yeah that's a big one you have to you have to want it otherwise yeah you won't live and consume it another one that i've heard you where you've shared it with me in the past has been your trades choosing your trades based on well who do i want to be hanging out with on site mm. and and do they bring their garbage to site mm. or are they, how are they influencing or affecting my team or my clients yeah um can you elaborate a bit on that yeah, so definitely team is something that takes years to build. Mm -hmm. um, again, by being able to share trades, because you know, obviously Tim and I have been around for 20 years each, so um, you, you, you work up a, a good base of people, yeah. um, and we've been able to almost filter through his guys and my guys, yeah, all the right. contractors, to then create a good team and then keep them busy so they're working either for him or I. Wow. But yeah, just really honing in on, on quality guys. Yeah. So effectively, you're filtering through trades twice as fast. Yeah. So that's a massive benefit. Again, it's not a competition. Like yeah. There's, there's not enough. It's just an upside there. There's to no keep it, say, an electrician or a plumber or someone or concrete or whoever they may be going. Yeah. So you may as well both use that same guy. Yeah. 
So for those listening, um, you'd recommend going, maybe go and find a builder or two or three. For sure. Build that network yeah. and then go, cool, who are maybe some trades that we like or recommend? Mm. And then if we can all use him, we can keep him busy and then we keep him. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's good. And, that, and that's then a benefit for that trade. Exactly. That gives him security and... Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, when people start thinking like that, it's crazy what mm. gets built. Yeah. I mean, you, you can look at a lot of communities around the world where they've got that mindset. Yeah. Um, and they just work with one another and build each other up. Another one is, um, you know, when we have a breakfast every now and again, you always, you know, one of the first to respond and say, yeah, I'm in, I'll be there. Mm. And there are others that come to that breakfast. There are some pretty cool thinkers around that table, mm. how they think, how they approach challenges and problems. What's been some of the takeaways from that? Oh, well, f- for one, and we talk about a lot, if, you, if your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. Yeah. And it's actually quite funny. You might be feeling scared and you go in and you hear what some of these other guys are doing and you go, oh, well, why am I even scared? Like, <laughs> this is like kindergarten, yeah. what I'm doing compared to some of these other guys. Yeah. So definitely, um, I, I heard a, a good one the other day um, from Ali. 33, 33, 33. Mm, that, was, that was a good one. That was really good. Yeah. You know? so, um, Do you want to break down what 33, yeah. 33, 33 means? Yeah. So, you know, we're on the 33. Um, there's people that are, I think you use the word less fortunate. Yeah. That word, I don't know if it's is, is quite the right word to use, but let's yeah. use it for now. People that haven't quite learned or are not quite where you are. Mm-hmm. And then there's the people that are more advanced that have learnt and, and, have, and have grown further and whatever. Yeah. So it's about helping the people less fortunate, but also hanging with the people that are more fortunate to learn. Yeah. So that's right. That's, that's a really big... And, you know, going to sitting at these tables, that's me hanging yeah. with the more fortunate. Yeah. And that is bringing me up and massively has yeah. in the last few years. Yeah. It but was co- uh, then helping, you know, I've got a girl that I sponsor, for instance, yeah. that's less fortunate, yeah. you know. Um, I know you guys are on board as well. Yeah. Um, and some of the other guys in the group. And that's, that's really cool, mm. is to be able to help someone to, you know... Achieve her goals. That's right. Yeah. So, um, yeah. yeah. She's hungry. She's massively hungry. Yeah. Um, so riding BMX. Yeah. yeah. I spoke to her dad the other day and yeah. just learned more about what she's doing. And um, she's now getting mentored by one of the best. One of the best in the, in the, in the world. She's yeah. like third in the world. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And that's all come because the support that she's got now and how she's feeling and that's projecting like that has really changed her turning up yeah. so now she turns up she knows she's backed by people and all yeah. of that kind of stuff it's changed the way she's feeling and you yeah know, that's so crazy it's it's, it's but like that is mental to think of it's to start thinking about that mm. that effect and impact that you're mm. starting to have but it's come from who you're hanging around yeah and because of the choice that you've made and and who you're hanging around and what you choose to consume that gives you the ability to, to have that kind of impact on on this girl man yeah wow yeah that 33 percent was uh, i found that pretty interesting 33 mm. percent of your time spent with people like yourself yeah that are going through the same challenges yeah 33 percent spending time with less fortunate i know one of the guys that came to the breakfast the other day very very new to business mm. development mm. new to business and you were you know easily engaged with him and and helped point some things out and, and gave him some good feedback mm. so already you're exposing yourself to mm. those that aren't really where you are at and then hanging out with some of those guys in the breakfast that are in the top 33 yeah. percent or in the upper but then also come on, and i've seen like some of the guys in that in that breakfast you know one of the guys in particular a, a designer and just through your exposure with him has built rapport mm. and now you get exposed to a lot of the work yeah. that he's designed yeah for sure how's what kind of impact has that had on your business oh that's been that's been great like yeah. i had a guy call me yesterday and he wants to do a, a, a big new build yeah and he goes oh some of these designers they charge an arm and a leg and what am i smoke she go with Stuart. Like, yeah i work with him all the time yeah. you know just who you need to use but you know Stuart's giving us jobs yeah which has been great you know I, I over time that trust with you him you build a bit of pool and yeah you're able to to work on a lot of the same projects together. Yeah. Which is which is great. 